just had to click the record button with these on. Uh, but I thought, as well as doing blogs on Wattpad, I could do vlogs on YouTube. Yay! So I'm glad that you managed to stop cringing and press the play button again. But, oh, why am I wearing sunglasses inside? I thought I'd explain the story behind these monstrosities. Um, they don't even look that good, but basically I go through like phases of, like I'm not gender neutral, but like I go through phases of like wanting to wear really masculine stuff and I'm wanting to wear like quite feminine stuff. I mean, there's some feminine stuff that I just don't wear at all, but at the moment I'm in one of those feminine phases. And um, so I decided to put some false nails on. Um, and basically, I've the only other time I've ever put false nails on was a sleepover and someone else did them for me and I pulled them off the next, in the next five minutes because I could not handle them. But I basically, putting these on was the most painful experience ever. Um, I got glue all over my fingers like all over um so the so we kind of got it off a little bit using acetone but it doesn't look like it it still looks like there's loads on but we got uh some of the glue off with acetone um but they hurt like well they're not hurt but it, it just feel really tight on my nails um and then I can't do anything like I was struggling to press the record button <laughs> because of these they, they were just not worth it I'm not, I do get how some girls can just put them on every single day um and not like um not like die all day and like still be able to do things I'm like how but yeah that was painful so I got this massive well, I'm gonna take this off. I got this massive bag of mochi. Uh, it has like the, the red bean mochi, the um, milk one, and then the matchy. Is it called matchy? Matcha. Matcha mochi. And the matcha and the milk one are really nice. And I not like the red bean one. And then um, I got some chocolate mochi, which I haven't haven't eaten any of it yet. So. I'm gonna try one of those. Like, I've got two with the power of these scissors. I managed to open this tiny little packet. I can get them out with my nails on now. They're kind of squashed, which is kind of disappointing. What's this? Um. Oh, an oxygen absorber. We don't care about that. Oh, picking up the most impossible thing ever. I also tried ramen for the first time today. Are you? It was instant ramen, not like actual ramen. But I was, I was impressed. <laughs> it was like amazing. Um, and I can't believe I haven't tried it before because over here it's not in normal stores again. And I don't think it is in America. I'm not sure, maybe I'm wrong. But yeah, it. so I only get uh, these things called super noodles, which are a bit like ramen, but not as nice. Like ramen was like, the best i was i was so i have to say it did take a hell of a lot of time to find like some vegetarian ramen um i think there was only one that i actually found which is the one that i bought but um it was it was really good um so people keep telling me that i'm missing out like with the um, the meat ramen apparently it's really nice but i'm like i think i'm gonna stay vegetarian thanks but the ramen was very good, even if it wasn't apparently the best flavour. It was good. Two things I tried for the first time today was Starbucks. Yeah, I know. But I'm, I've always been used to Costa. And, like, if there was, like, a Costa and a Starbucks in the same place, I'd always go for the Costa because I know I like it. But, um, I tried a Starbucks today. I have to say I definitely prefer Costa. Um, I tried the Frappuccino Mocha. Maybe some other things Starbucks have are better than what they're doing costa but um it was pretty annoying because they gave you a really small straw so like the ice wouldn't even go up the straw so um i ended up drinking that like the whole 
train journey home and even by the end of it I didn't fully finish it and I just had to throw it away because I literally could not get it through the straw it was just so annoying um but it did taste it tasted nice like I have to say that um I definitely prefer the ones at Costa though because I feel like the ones at Starbucks are a bit too creamy for my liking I also went to my second ever convention um the first one I went to was a gaming one and I didn't cosplay or anything but like them um with my friends I went to a cosplay con so I went in a fluffy tarot jacket and um I, w I wore shorts and like tarot stockings like up to that and I thought I looked pretty nice but I didn't know and then I bought loads of cat cosplaying stuff so I'm gonna go to more and I'm gonna start getting into cosplay conventions and yeah but the one thing that I am worried about is I cannot do makeup I'm not even comfortable like wearing makeup really because um I am a bit self-conscious but I'm not like um I'm not like really self-conscious in fact um I think I'm more self-conscious that I'm gonna do my makeup wrong than like looking bad in without makeup on um so like I don't think I'm gonna be going for like very advanced cosplays because I'm going to be absolutely terrified to put the makeup on and I also don't have an, a lot of money to spend on makeup so I mean you guys know how these nails turn out so if I try and do anything else like that I'm not going to be able to. So if you don't know I don't think I've mentioned this on my Wattpad but I am, I'm Wiccan which is in the pagan religion like I've recently become a part of the religion so don't feel like I've not told you guys for two years but um Anyway, so, um, I like all spiritual stuff, like collecting stones and stuff, so I was trying to fill this jar with, um, like, spiritual stones, like, I have an amethyst as well, but I don't know where it's gone, but I'm going on holiday soon, so I'm going to try and buy something there, but, uh, this, this one's one that my mum gave me, and I don't know what it is, but it looks nice, so, and then, this is quartz, I think. Um, I think that's what it is, but it's that's what it said on the thing. But I'm like, isn't quartz a bit more expensive? I don't know. I'm not like an expert. I just like them. And then this is like, I think it was called a cat eye glass. I got it ages ago. But yeah, I'm hoping to get more on holiday and then like find out like about the spiritual values and stuff because let's be honest, I'm a bit of a noob with all the spiritual stuff at the moment but I'm still in the religion and I've been doing my ready for so that's all you can do and I did cast one spell and I was proud of it because it did work and I was like yay I tried bubble tea for the first time too because like next to the Asian market well connected to it there was like a bubble tea cafe um and I tried bubble tea for the first time it was all right but um, I know this sounds weird, but it tasted a bit like fish because um, I guess they made it in the same building. Um, but to be honest, I could have forgotten what fish tastes like because I'm vegetarian and um, have been for like the past five months. I know it's not that long, but I've definitely forgotten what a lot of meat tastes like. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I hope you didn't cringe too much. I guess I'll see you when I next vlog or next vlog or whatever. Yeah, um, I'll leave the links to my social medias below so you guys can all go and watch that. Not watch that. Check those out. Yeah.